If you're looking for advice on which Rolex would be ideal, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. For the Traveler, Rolex GMT Master 2. The GMT Master, first introduced in the mid-1950s, as its name might well suggest, is a GMT watch. And it was initially intended for pilots. This implies that in addition to usual hour, minute, and second hands, it also has a hand for displaying the time in Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT, as observed by the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, London. This extra hand rotates around a 24-hour bezel. That way, whether you're traveling to work or leisure, you'll always know what time it is at your destination in the GMT and UTC. The GMT Master has been nicknamed as the Pepsi Rolex due to its distinctive blue and red color scheme and its 24-hour bezel is made of exceptionally durable ceramic. In addition, the GMT Master 2 is remarkably small for its complexity, measuring in at just 40 millimeters. For the diver, Rolex Submariner. Although it looks similar to the GMT Master, the Submariner is much more durable watch that can withstand a depth of 300 meters when properly sealed. When the initial Submariner was released in 1953, it is set a new standard for water resistance by being the first watch to be resistant to a depth of 100 meters. The Submariner is a true diving watch because it complies with the ISO 6425 standard, making it resistant to the effects of saline water, humidity, magnetism, and rapid pressure and temperature changes. The watch is designed to help keep divers keep track of how long they've been underwater by including a unidirectional 60-minute rotating dial. The bezel is made from Cerachrome, the same Rolex developed, corrosion-resistant ceramic material as on the GMT Master. The Submariner is equipped with a screw-down winding crown, an enlarged date display at 3 o'clock, and a 70-hour power reserve thanks to its automated 32-35 caliber movement. For the racing driver, Rolex Cosmograph Daytona. If you tune in to the 24-hour auto events at Daytona or Le Mans for every 5 minutes, you're bound to see Rolex Daytona. The Cosmograph Daytona has been around since 1963, and it has graced the wrists of some of the world's most famous racers of that time. The Rolex Daytona is a high-end sports watch with a second hand that provides an exact measurement down to an eighth of a second and two panels that indicate time in hours and minutes. The 40mm non-rotating bezel can also be used as tachymeter, indicating the units per hour of any moving object you care to time. For example, let's say you want to calculate the average pace of a land speed recorded vehicle as it travels through the measured mile. To find out how fast you typically drive, simply press the 2 o'clock switch once you turn on the second hand, and again to hold it when you reach the mile sign. The Rolex Daytona can withstand water pressure up to 100 meters and has a battery backup of about 72 hours. For the adventurer, Rolex Explorer. One of our favorite Rolexes is the Explorer because it is the most understanding stainless sports watch that the company offers. The Explorer's legendary history can be tracked back to the 1953 climb of Sir Edmund Hillary. The same year, Rolex introduced the Oyster Perpetual Explorer to the world in honor of his accomplishment. Rolex currently sells two Explorer models, a 39mm and a 42mm Explorer 2. While their appearance differs, they share something in common. They are both built to withstand harsh conditions. The Explorer has stayed faithful to its roots, keeping the original's black bezel, big, easy-to-read numbers, and sturdy oyster case. By increasing its circumference by a few millimeters and incorporating a GMT function, the Explorer 2 allows its users to keep track of time in numerous time zones. For the pilot, Rolex Air King. If flying is your pastime of choice, then the Air King is the Rolex for you. This watch exudes timeless elegance with its small 40mm case, oyster chain, and convex bezel. The Air King may resemble other Rolex models, such as the Datejust or Daydate at first glance but it also features distinctive aviation-themed details that set it apart as a unique business gift or high school graduation present. The watch has a black bezel with oversized hour number at 3, 6, and 9, with the small minute numerals used for nautical time reading between them. This design dates back to Rolex's connection with aviation in the 1930s. 
The Air King is equipped with a self-winding mechanical movement of the 3131 size that provides a roughly 48 hour of power reserve and it's resistant to water to a depth of 100 meters. For the sailor, Rolex Yacht Master 2. There's a lot of going on here, especially for Rolex. The Yacht Master 2, made in Switzerland, is marketed towards professional mariners due to its customizable countdown timers, mechanical memory, and on-the-fly synchronization. This means captains can set the watch to automatically start a countdown of certain duration between 1 and 10 minutes. This allows them to perfectly schedule the beginning process of a boat competition and adhere to all regulations. The minutes countdown using a fourth hand which sweeps down from a maximum of 10 minutes at 7 o'clock to 0 at 5 o'clock. The Yacht Master 2 is unusual because its bezel is physically connected to the watch's inner system. This allows the user to establish a delay period before the commencement of the competition simply by rotating the bezel. The Yacht Master 2 is a big watch for a Rolex, coming at 44 mm with a water resistance of up to 100 meters, while the power reserve of its self-winding movement is approximately 72 hours. For every day, Rolex Datejust. The Datejust is the most popular Rolex and it's often considered the iconic watch. It can be customized according to your preference, with Rolex providing a selection of case sizes and materials, bands, and accents, as well as a variety of face colors, materials, and decorations, by which we, of course, mean diamonds. There is a wide variety of options to choose from, including two band styles, two bezel shapes, and case widths ranging from 28mm to 41mm made of steel, white gold, yellow gold, or a combination of the two. All of this means that the date just can be set up to look just as good with casual clothes as it does with a suit for work, a suit for wedding, or for Sunday's best. The date just, which debuted in 1945 under the name Oyster and was renamed in 1985, has undergone a few changes since its introduction. In 1955, however, the mechanism was updated so that the date would shift instantly at midnight rather than gradually over the course of several hours. That year also saw the addition of the famous Cyclops magnification lens over the date complication, which has since become a hallmark of Rolex watch design. This modern date just is able to withstand water pressure up to 100 meters, features a 3235 caliber, and a power reserve of up to 70 hours. So what do you think? Whether you're a traveler, diver, racer, adventurer, pilot, sailor, or just an ordinary person looking for a showstopper watch, will this watch suit your lifestyle? Let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you like more videos like these, remember to activate the notification so you won't miss out on any videos. See you at the next one, fellow luxury lovers.